What's up guys, Nate back here in another video. Someone says, are my glasses glued to my head? <laughs> no, they're not. So with that being said, we're changing, we're changing today to a hat because oh, well, I don't have hat <laughs> glasses glued to my head. Okay, so guys, today's video, we're talking about how I sold 43,000 of one product and you're like, I thought you said your last product was your best winning product and there was only 17,600 units. It's probably 18,000 now, actually it's over 18,000 now, but how can I say my best winning product is 43,000 units when I just said my other product was my best product and that was 18. Well, because this product that I have sold that's 43,000 units is actually not a product at all. And that's what we're gonna talk about today in this video, how I can sell thin air. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna show you. So stay, hit, and let's get the video started. All right guys, so what is this? product product that I sold 43,000 units of if you don't believe me it's right here on the screen it's the same exact screenshot this is a screenshot from Shopify this shows I sold 43,000 units of this product it's a product to set up in Shopify even though it's not an actual product there's no physical thing then the next one below that is my horse design that I sold 17,800 and something units right 17,600 on this one probably 18,000 now since that screenshot was taken because it still sells even though it's not running ads it still sells so what is this what is this? Why does it say skip the line faster processing? What does that actually mean? And why is it so powerful? Well, I have one click upsells. If you don't know what that is, one click upsells are when someone purchases from your store, they have an option to buy more stuff after they have already clicked confirm order. Why is this so important? Why is this so impressive? Why do you need to have one click upsells because you are not distracting your customer with all these offers before they make the purchase decision. They've already made their purchase decision and they already have put their credit card in and they've already clicked that button. But before they get the thank you page, you're gonna give them a couple more options. There's software that does this and I use the software called Cardhook. I recommend you check it out. I got links in the description. Now what Cardhook does is it allows you to click have present three upsells and three downsells. So if they say no to an upsell, they get a downsell. If they say no to the second upsell, they get another downsell. If they get no to the third upsell, they get another downsell. Six sells, six combinations. If they say no to everything, they'll see all six. It can piss some people off. They're like, I just wanna see my thank you page. And yeah, that happens and it's okay because the amount of people that get pissed off by this is made up for it by the amount that this actually works so well. And from all my years of testing, from all my experience with selling on Facebook, running print on demand stores, and using upsell software, I have found that there is one combination of funnel sequence after sale that gives the insane results. I have never been able to replicate it with any other combination of upsells period. So what is that? That is the skip the line processing. Well, skip the line processing is not faster shipping. I do not have to sell my customer on faster shipping. I do not have to say, oh, your, your order is going to get to you one week faster. I do not have to sell them a physical product. I don't have to ship anything to them. Faster processing is exactly what it says. I'm going to put your order in front of everybody else. So how do you actually accomplish this? With print on demand stores, how do you do this? It's so simple. You export those orders and you send it to your supplier first. That doesn't mean that you're gonna send it instantly. That doesn't mean you're going to go out of the way to try to you know, make sure that it's going to actually get processed faster. You're just gonna take those orders and you're just gonna make sure that you send those first before the other orders. That could be one hour before the other orders. That could be one day before the other orders. That is your decision. But this upsell called skip the line faster processing is a psychological upsell. I have found from over like over 180,000 orders, close to 200,000 orders that 55% of people are going to take this option. 55% will say, yes, I want faster processing. 
Faster processing, not faster shipping. 55%. So I have 200,000 people in my store, but I've only sold 43,000 of this. How does that make sense? Well, not every, I did not have card hook upsells in the beginning of my store. I sold a million dollars worth of product before I even had upsells in place. There was probably about 80 or 90,000 orders that actually have went through upsell software. And that's where that 43,000 has come from. So 43,000 people have clicked that button and say, yes, I want faster processing. And that faster processing, I charge, I'll show you right here. This is what it looks like. Faster processing, I charge in the fine print, 399 or 395. So they say, yes, I want faster processing. And we charge their car 395, one time, or you know, just one time, not per month, just 395 for that one order. And what that happens is the, because the upsell software is smart, the first order gets sent to the merchant account. Then the upsell order gets sent to the merchant account. We charge them two times. They see a 395 on their credit card. They see uh, 2495 for the wallet case or whatever the product is. So 55% of people are taking my psychological upsell that is not a product and it costs me no money. And what does that mean? That means it's adding $2.20 pure profit to every single order. Over 50 50% of people, over 50% of people are taking this option. So that means I'm adding $2 pure profit that I can use for more ads if I want to. And what do I do after? If they say no, do they skip the line? The downsell is skip the line for the exact same price. I don't change anything. I just do it twice. Why do I do it twice? Some people, they click no, and then they, on the second page, they click yes. Why? Because they just click no, and they're like, oh crap, what, did it, what was that? And then the next page, it shows it again, and they're like, oh, and then they actually read it. So I always just do it twice. I don't change anything. Keep it the same. So if they click yes on, on this, they don't see the downsell. On the second upsell, right? Now this is a, another product. This is actually a product. This is where I sell them the exact same product that they purchased from the front end. So if they bought a wallet case, wallet case with a skull on it, the upsell is a skip the line. The second upsell is a wallet case with a skull on it, the same one they bought. I found this to be extremely, extremely effective. They already said they want it because they put their credit card in and they bought it. Then the second upsell is, hey, would you like another one? Here's 10% off, 20% off, whatever you wanna make it. Just offer them again the same product. And what is the downsell? The downsell is the same product <laughs> again. Would you like a wallet case? And this time, 50% off, 30% off, whatever, a little bit better discount. You're making money because people are gonna take, make these, they're gonna see this as an irresistible offer. They just bought it, why not get another one at 50% off? So if you have that wallet case on the front end, $29. And on the second upsell, it is $20. All right, get 20% off, 30% off. But if the downsell is $15, you're still making $5 profit if they say yes, because if it's 10 bucks, cost of goods are 10 bucks, you're still making $5 profit. This is gonna add probably 60, 70 cents profit per every order. That one. So where we're adding, get the line, $2 profit per every order. Upsell, another dollar. Downsell, 70 cents. We're adding all these pure profit events just by using one click upsell. This is why it's extremely, secret tactic to put these into your funnels to sell with one click upsells i love them that's why i recommend this card hook software i'll put the link in the description if you want to go check it out it's up to you i'm not going to lie to you it is expensive and i'm also not going to lie to you i get referrals for that so let that you know sit in if you want to give me a little bit of money uh, click the link purchase it software and you're gonna show me that you enjoy my videos so guys I really hope you like this video, a little sneaky tactic, how you can sell thin air to customers and they don't even, they love it. They love the idea. They're gonna email and you say, I don't even know what I just bought. And you're gonna explain it to them. Hey, we, we processed your order first. And they're like, well, what do I get with that? We just did it. We just processed it first. <laughs> That's what you're gonna tell them. And they're gonna be okay with it. They're gonna email you. Some people are gonna email you like, I don't want it. That's fine, cancel it. You don't lose anything. Or you lose whatever, three bucks, four bucks. But you're, if you're gonna get 50% of people to say yes, is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. That's free money that most people would not even think about setting up this way. That's why I do it. That's why I've tested it. It works amazing. 
that's why I'm sharing it. So guys, uh, take this little note. Hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe for more tactics, techniques, and tricks with Facebook ads, print on demand, Shopify, funnels, click funnels, all these little terms that were thrown there. And um, hit the like button, hit the notification button, and I will see you on the next video.